So today I'm going to do something that I don't normally do. I'm going to do an unboxing. I'm going to unbox this here. This is an RC car kit of the Hornet. Now the Hornet is made by this company here. It's pronounced a few different ways online uh, from videos I've seen. And honestly, I don't know which is the correct pronunciation, but it's, it's called uh, Tamiya, Tamiya, Tamaya. I don't know the correct pronunciation, but I do know the car is called the Hornet and that's what I'm going to call it. So uh, this, by the way, is a very well-known um, RC car company as well as a model making company. They, they make scale models, make RC cars. Uh, very well respected company. So this is going to be a great kit. Now this is a vintage styled kit. Uh, they've been making this kit since the 1980s. Now this is not a kit from the 1980s as far as like buying it on eBay. This is actually from a hobby shop. Um, it's from Tower Hobbies. Uh, and it's a current kit. They actually produce these today. Um, but it is 1980s styled and um, as you can see it's very similar to this one. This is a uh, Sears Lobo. Uh, it's made by Nico. Now uh, the reason why I wanted this kit was because it reminded me of this kit. Now I like to run this car but it's old. It's vintage and it's in near mint condition and you know toy RC cars the plastic gets brittle. I mean this car is what pushing 30 years old. Plastic's brittle. It could crash, it could break, and it's very hard to repair these because they were never meant to be repaired by an average person. You, you know, you send them back to the toy maker, whatever, uh, but they weren't really meant to be taken apart. Where this, I can get that same 80s feel of the Lobo, and if I do anything to it, I can fix it because it's a kit. So that's why I was interested in this car. I mean, even the styling, look how close they are. I mean, look, look at the, sh the racing stripes, very close. So if you do like Sears Lobos, and you don't want to run a Sears Lobo, um, but you like the style of the Sears Lobo, uh, this definitely is a more modern take on it. But it's actually, like I said, from the 1980s. This is a 1980s design, uh, and this is what the car looked like in the 80s. So, I mean, it's basically the same thing as far as cosmetics. It was just a little bit different but much, much, much more powerful and a much better car. Because this is a hobby grade car, whereas the Lobo is toy grade. So let's open this box up and just see what's inside. So in case this is ever something that you want to consider, you'll know what you're getting. Okay, now the box is sealed. So we're going to cut through the cellophane and get it started here. Okay, now that we have the cellophane off, um, get a nice clear shot of the graphics on the side of the box here. It looks like you have some diagrams that identify parts of the car. And this here shows you additional parts that will be needed. And there's some more graphics. And look at that, there's, that'll be what it looks like when it's done uh, as far as the internals go. Yeah, there's the axles. That's the Hornet right there. So let's uh, let's look inside. Well, this says here that it includes an electronic forward and reverse speed controller. So that's pretty cool. You know, some of these kits come partially uh, built, uh, depending on where you buy it from. Uh, but this one here, this is the full-fledged kit. So I have to build everything. So I open it up, and this is what you're greeted with. Okay, here's all the parts here. All right, got the body here that I'm gonna have to paint. Work on that. Looks like there's, it's open there, but the sides there, that's a window. We got here, just the bathtub chassis. That's where all the electronics are gonna go, and we'll put the uh, axles, attach that and all. Got a decal sheet there. We got um, looks like we've got a driver. There might be a battery pack cover there, or some some sort of cover for the bathtub chassis. Uh, got your bumpers. Got your wheels. And it looks like here's my gearbox. I haven't built one of these cars in years, so um, this is going to be a trip down memory lane. As well as could be challenging because, like I said, I haven't built one of these in years. Uh, last car I built, man, that was in the 90s. <laughs> wow, okay, look at this. Yeah, there's more parts there. Okay, we got our t 
tires here. Look pretty cool. Looks like we got our speed control. Some bits in here, I'll have to check that out. Oh, here's more plastic. All right, lots of parts here. Uh, here's our sticker sheet. Yeah, I like them. I like these graphics a lot. Oh, look, different numbers. Box says number seven, but I could switch it up to any number I want. All right, here's our spoiler. Okay, got some painting to do. A little box here. It's full of something. Let's see what's in there. Hmm. Okay, off camera, I cut the tape holding this box lid on. Okay, there we go. Check this out. Got a nice heavy-duty bumper here. Yeah, that can take some abuse. Yeah. That'll protect the car if I hit a curb, for sure. Oh, look, we got gears, some clips, tube of something here. Looks like that's grease there. Okay. All right, we got our damper oil. A whole bunch of gears here, some springs for the shocks. Yeah, it's gonna take a little time to build this car. More gears. RC part bag. More RC parts. <laughs> we got here, RC parts bag. There's even more, another RC parts bag. Been so long, I don't quite remember what these are for. But I'll find out when I look at the book. <laughs> Here's our motor. Now, I believe this is a, I think it's a 540. Uh, I know you can upgrade it. Uh, I've seen 550 for this car, so. Um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, here's, here's the guide. Okay, so there you have it. We just unboxed the entire kit and you saw exactly what it would appear like if you bought the kit and unboxed it for the first time. Now, I didn't go into any of the specifics about the parts in the bags. I didn't take the bags apart, but you saw the parts bags that you would get. Uh, and I did leave out two things here. Uh, when I was unboxing, I neglected to show you this. Uh, this is um, an antenna tube. You know, it's basically the wire from your receiver, you thread it through here and this will stick out of the top of the car if you choose to use it and it helps with your reception. And then here's just some more paperwork um, that came with the car. Um, so that's it, that's what you get. Now, um, a few additional things you will need for this kit. You'll need a servo um, for your steering uh, mechanism. You'll need a receiver and a transmitter or radio, if you will. Um, the receiver should come with the radio and uh, you know you can use pistol grip the, the stick kind uh, whatever your preference is you also need a uh, 7.2 volt battery pack to power the car and then whatever kind of batteries your radio uses likely it's going to be double A's um, but that's what you'll need to finish off the car and of course you need tools to put it together not sure if you need any glue I didn't read the direction manual yet um, but it's always good to have glue on hand just in case because you might need it. I don't know. I've never built this kit and I did not read the direction manuals because I just did the unboxing with you together. So I don't know if it needs glue, but good to have it on hand just in case. Uh, and you'll need paint. And I recommend that you buy the paint that they recommend, um, buy their brand paint. Uh, with radio control cars, it's not good to just use any old paint because um, you need paint that's flexible and paint that sticks to the plastics that the RC cars use because the plastics are a little bit different than what you might be used to. Um, you need paint that's gonna bend when you crash because if you don't have flexible paint, um, you can get cracking and flaking and it's gonna ruin the finish of your car. Uh, so get the paint that they recommend, which I will be doing. I'm be getting black because I want it to match <laughs> the box. So um, that's basically all I think you'll need. Um, and like I said, I showed you everything that was in the box as if you were opening it for the first time. You know, I didn't go in the specifics of everything in each part bag, but I just wanted you to see, get an idea what was in the box. So if you're interested in something like this, um, I'll have another video. Uh, I don't know when, but, um, down the road, once I get this kit completed and it's finished, 
I will have a video showing you the um, finished product and testing it out. So um, until then, you know, stay tuned. I'll have another video on this car down the road. Uh, this will be my winter build project. So um, that's that. So thanks for watching. Have a good day. And, um, you know, I'm looking forward to running it. I wish it was ready to run like this one was. This one's going to take some time, but it'll be fun to do. So, good one.